hi guys welcome back to my channel quarter babe to my chain so for today's video we have a story time so this story time actually took place last week okay last week somebody tried to scare me on instagram but before we get started you guys already do the drill don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below it is free the notification bell on so you can get notified every single time i upload a new video follow me on my social media platforms instagram twitter Snapchat, and tiktok the link will be down below in the description box for your convenience hey you guys let's get started as most of you guys know i have made a couple of videos here on youtube i'll make sure i include some of them up here where I tell you guys how to set your two-step verification on Instagram so you can avoid getting hacked. I'll talk to you guys about scams that you guys might fall for on Instagram and all that good jazz. But y'all, this scammer try me, okay? This scammer try me. I'll also include receipt up here so you guys can see. And I have my phone here so I'll be reading the messages this scammer was sending me okay so first of all a little background story the person's account that they hacked is one of my friend's best friend okay one of my friend's best friend account and we follow each other on instagram we're gonna call her melissa okay we're gonna give her name call her melissa and we're gonna call my friend sarah okay so my friend's sarah's best friend got hacked who is melissa right so melissa got hacked and the person used melissa's account to write me Okay, so in my head, I'm like, Melissa normally don't write me. And the person said, I quote, can I ask you for a favor, please? And put like the hands like this. Like I said, I'll put the receipt up here so you guys can see. Put the hands like this and the question mark. And I said, hey, I'm not going to lie, y'all. I hate, I hate when people write me and don't be polite. They don't say hi, they don't say hey, they don't say good morning, good afternoon. Like, I hate when people just start talking to me without greeting me, right? That's so impolite. I just hate it. Even my friends on the regular, they will text me and be like, just send it, and I'll be like, good morning, and I'll answer them right under the line of good morning, okay? Because I just hate it. I hate it. Most of my friends know that. Like, that's one of my pet peeves. People that are just rude, like, you woke up in the morning, just text me, asking me a question, or asking me for something, or talking to me about something without saying good morning like what so i said hey and i put a you know hand go like this and i said yeah right under that like i said y'all can see that right here i always make sure i'm polite if you're not polite i'll be polite to you okay hopefully one day you catch on to it so the person said using melissa's account once again i'm cause i'm contesting for an ambassadorship spot at online influencer program can you please vote for me and i said okay send the link mind you okay i'm sitting here like this is not really my friend this is you know sarah's friend why is she asking me you know and i'm like okay she normally don't really be talking to me as you guys can see that's like our first ever message and mind you we've been following each other for like a year or two we never wrote each other on instagram none of that so it's like the first thing you ask me is for a favor. You didn't even say good morning. So I'm like, huh? But anyways, I'm like, alright, no problem. Send the link. The person said, okay, thanks. I'll send you the entry link. All you have to do is screenshot and send it back to me. And I will send it to my sponsor. So at this point, I was a bit skeptical. I was like, um, hmm, sending me a link that I should take a screenshot and send it back to you. Hmm. So at this point, I felt like something was fishy, right? But then I was like, all right, maybe maybe she needs the vote, right? So I was like, okay. Because I thought it was fishy, I spoke in French. I said, tu va envoyer quand, which means when are you going to send it? Knowing that most of these hackers, you know, they probably do not know French, right? You know, I was, I, you know, I was like, let me just go ahead and say that. And if the person was to answer in French, I knew it was her. And if the person was to answer in English, definitely fishy okay so the hacker said check now you have been sent a text don't bother clicking on the text just screenshot and send it to me so you can vote me in thanks and the person asked literally less than a minute mind you he sent that message he or she i don't know who is the hacker send that message at 1108 and also at 1108 it was in the morning a.m the person said did you get the text in my head i'm like mind you guys i'm gonna screenshot all this for you guys in my head, I'm like, huh, like, that's a bit pushy. But then I said, okay, I didn't receive the text. And I really didn't at that time. And then the, the hacker said, one sec, right? And then I went ahead and I sent them the 
picture. And I'm going to post it right here so y'all can see. And I got it at 11.09. So I sent them the picture of what I got. Because in my head, I'm, like, I'm not clicking on this link. Whether the hacker told me not to click on it or not, I wasn't going to click on it, period. Okay? So I sent that screenshot. And then the person was like, okay, hold. And I'm like, c'est bon? Which means, is it good? Mind you, I was throwing these French words to throw this person off because I know they couldn't. Like, something was just telling me, like, they don't know how to speak French unless they're going to Google Translate. They don't know how to speak French. And some of the words I was using were like abbreviations. So you really need to know French because Google won't translate it for real. So the person said, I approved the request you you were sent. At this point, right, I have received a request telling me to allow or deny. I deny, of course, because I was like, oh, yeah, this is a scam. Mind you guys, I told you guys on the videos, I'll make sure to include the video up here. I showed you guys how to set up your two-step verification so you do not get hacked. Um, easily on Instagram and I also told you guys about three scams that you guys might fall for okay so due to the fact that I know that information and I got my account set up you know and secured I had to either allow or deny right of course I'm denying then I say F you to the person right and the person say you done mind you my F you and the you done of the person came at the same time but mine went first so I guess the person didn't see my F you right and then I said F your mother and your father. Okay, I said it. And then the person said, same. Like he replied to my F you and said, same. Then I said, I hope you go to hell, hell. You try to hack me. I got your location because it says somewhere in New York. Mind you, I'm going to put all that here for you guys. You guys will see all this um, receipt. So I said, I got your location. I'm the police. So now I'm playing like I'm the police. I say, I'm the police. I hope you broke. Okay? I hope you broke. I don't want my video to get the time, so I'm not going to say the words. So I hope you broke. And I was like, I hope you get arrested, then go to hell, hell. Then go to H, hell. And then I said, bye. Then the person blocked me, and I blocked the person back. I went to all my account and blocked that person back. And then I went ahead and hit up Sarah. So I called Sarah. I said, hey, Sarah, did Melissa get hacked? She was like, yeah, girl, she got hacked yesterday. She's trying to get it back, but she's not able to. And I'm like, thankfully, um, the person almost tried to hack me, but my account was set up in a way that it was hard to hack me. I had to allow or deny. And yeah, and also I told Sarah that I felt like it was a bit fishy since the get-go, but then I was like, huh? When I sent that screenshot for real, I already knew it was fishy, like I said, but I just said, let me go ahead and see. You know, let's see how far this goes. So I noticed testing the waters by sending him that screenshot and stuff like that wasn't a good idea. But in my head, I was like, yeah, I got my two-step verifications on. Like, I got my account secured and put in a way that it's hard for me to get hacked. So let me just go ahead and send this and see how far this person goes. So, yeah, that's the reason why I was comfortable doing that. Please, if you know it's a scam, block the person, report the page, because I also reported the page on all my account, my business account, my personal account, and everywhere. And I told um, Sarah to make sure she reports the page, because Sarah told me that the page was also writing her, but she was writing back to see if it was possible to get her best friend's account. So I was like, you won't be able to get Melissa's account back. You know, because these people, that's what they do. And then she started telling me that it seems like this hacker is in Nigeria based on the language she was speaking, the dialect and stuff like that. And I was like, well, with me, it said it was New York. So, yeah, I told Sarah about it. I told her to be careful. I sent her the video that I'll post here so you guys can check out and protect your account, okay? I sent her that video. I was like, please, please, please do set up your two-step verifications and make sure, you know, you look at the video Thoroughly so you can set it up correctly and I was like there's also different scams you can fall for I sent her my other videos I was like share with Melissa and I'm sorry this happened to you and this is at the third you know I was really feeling for Melissa and then she was like yeah right now you know she's really down because her business account was connected to that account so she lost her business account and her personal and I was like oh my gosh I couldn't I couldn't like I just cannot imagine how that feels you know especially me I was like I was over here testing the waters. What if my account was to get hacked? You know, like, mm -hmm, you got hacked. You thought you were protected. Even though in my heart, I knew that I was good. I was like, yeah, you never know, man. So hackers are really, really, really good. I don't know what he could have done to my phone. I don't know. So in my head, I was like, oh, yeah. Me testing the waters wasn't a good idea. But like I said, I knew my account was secure and put in a way that it was going to be hard for someone to, you know, just hack me like that. 
So I was like, yeah, I, I just cannot imagine losing my platform that I, I worked so hard for. Like, I <sighs> sleepless night, like, creating content. Like, I worked so hard for it. Like, yeah, I just cannot imagine that. And plus, my, my account is also connected to my business account and all that. So, yeah. I just, I told her, I was like, yeah, I feel for Melissa, I'm sorry. So I told Sarah, I was like, please stop interacting with that person. You never know what they can do to your account while you guys are talking and stuff like that. Especially since her account wasn't, you know, secured like it's supposed to be with the two-step verification that I told you guys about. So I was like, yeah, please make sure you secure your account and make sure you're careful because people out here are just hacking accounts to talk about this Bitcoin BS. Like, calm down, just like, they're just hacking people's accounts to talk about the Bitcoin Oh, I, I put ten, ten, ten dollars and got a thousand. I put a thousand, got ten thousand. Like just to hack people so they can fall for that BS, that crypto, crypto what, crypto mining. There we go. Yeah, you guys don't fall for that. Okay, work hard for your money, and you should be fine. Don't fall for these quick scams because most likely there is a scam, and most likely they're gonna do something. Like they never do something for nothing. So even those that hit you up talking about some do you have a cash app that's my next story time actually because somebody tried to also scam me on snapchat with that do you have a cash app i can send you i'll tell you guys all about it in that story time but yeah you guys sarah also told me that melissa was going to start a new account because she doesn't have any choice you know she lost both her business and personal account and i was like yeah that's the only thing she can do right now because these hackers will not give her a comeback and even if she gets her account back i feel like i personally wouldn't trust having an account that was already compromised you know that people were you know using to scam others so yeah a couple hours later melissa sent me a friend request with her new instagram and you know i followed her back and stuff like that but yeah you guys that is it for today's story time i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys learned something from it please check out my video where i show you guys how to secure your account okay please check out my video where i tell you guys about the three different schemes you can fall for and how not to fall for them so you guys cannot fall for these type of scams because it is more and more frequent like i said people have been getting hacked this is not the first story time i make about somebody hacking somebody i know and trying to hack me okay or scam me okay so please guys be careful i hope you guys secure your accounts instagram twitter any account that you guys may have i hope you guys set up the two-step verification even in your email okay so no one can scam you or hack you guys in that way but yeah you guys once again thank you so much for joining me in today's story time if you guys like it don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe down below it is free the notification bell on so you can get every single time i upload a new video follow me on my social media platform instagram twitter Snapchat, and tiktok the link will be down below in the description box for your convenience and i'll catch you guys in my next one bye guys